What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bill and in today's video Again working on the Bronco Now that my Bronco's back. There's a few things I haven't Never did get done that I would like to get wrapped up one of which is I got this ARB diff cover a while ago probably about a year ago um, it was black when I got it and I wanted to change it to match um, I didn't think painting it would be a good idea so I tried to powder coat it and well that is my powder coating oven right there between that not being able to get this piece hot enough and it being humid when I was out here trying to spray up uh, spray the powder it did not turn out great i wasn't happy with it so i just it's been sitting there in the oven since then um until i decided to do something with it and i was out here painting some other stuff um if you saw the last video where i painted the little strips for the for the wheel well liners for matt's bronco um and i did a couple of emblems so i was like oh well i got the paint out i'll go ahead and paint this so that's what i did I figure the paint's probably not going to last forever, but it looks, I think it looks good now. And it does have the uh, yellow powder coat underneath. So if some of the ch pink ch does chip off, it'll still have that yellow base under it. So it won't be horrible looking. I think we'll find out. But yeah, so now that that's painted, I want to go ahead and swap it out. So. We first need to remove the current one. And obviously we need some to replace the fluid when we do. Then almost at 30,000 miles. Uh, some of it's been pretty rough miles uh, off-road. So it's not, so I'm not upset about changing that fluid out anyway and just checking and making sure all the gears and everything under here looks good. So. With that said, we shouldn't really need a whole lot of tools. Uh, if you're taking your diff off and not replacing it, then definitely make sure that you can get the fill plug out before you remove it, because it would really suck to uh, take this cover off and put it back on and you're not able to get the fill plug out and fill it. So. It should just be your ratchet. Normal ratchet should fit in there. And no issue. I see it. Yeah, there's, there's a bit of sludge on that. Now all we got to do is go around and loosen all these bolts. It would have really sucked to go to put the new one on realize that it doesn't fit or something's not going to work and then have to put this one back on and then realize oh i can't put that one back on because i can't get the fill plug out i can see the fill levels right there no it actually doesn't look too bad although there's quite a bit of metallic sludge right there on that magnet so We'll see how it all looks once we get it apart. I'm gonna break these loose. There are two that are different that these Brake lines go on too, so remember where the studs go here and here. So you can put those back in. But we can go ahead and move those out of the way for now. And then everything else is just the bolts. All right, so now I'm just going to try to pry this off a little bit. Trying to go, I don't want to tear up the seal. I want to be able to reuse it. There we go.
There we go. Get it completely broken free there. And now we just let it drain. So that fluid actually looks... Fluid looks pretty in pretty good shape actually so I'm happy about that now I just gonna sit here and let this drain then we'll finish taking this top bolt off and take this off and then uh, go from there so we'll pick back up here once this is drained out we are not looking too bad here Let's see how this little valley looks but yeah, there's a gasket on here that's what I was trying not to damage. This is reusable. So unless it's damaged, you can just move that over. So that's what we'll do. Should line up like so. And we are good to put that on. But let me go ahead, get that all wiped out and everything, and then we'll see about this. All right, so you see differences. This is obviously a lot thicker than that thin metal, so it'd be pretty, if you could puncture this on off road, uh, I'd be impressed. I don't know what you would have to do to, to to break that off roading. This you could puncture fairly easy. Well, it'd still be pretty hard, but in comparison to this, fairly easy. And it's got a drain plug, magnetic drain plug at the bottom, and then a fill hole at the top. So you can change your fluid at any time. You don't have to take the cover off. You can just drain and fill as needed. And both the fill uh, and the drain plug have magnets on them. You can see a uh, very magnetic. But what I wanted to do is kind of line up where these two sit. Because the bottom of that that drain hole is is where the fill line is. Of where the fill line falls on this. So I can mark that right here would be the fill line. Alright, so there, just putting mark on there so we know where our fill line is so when I do check the dipstick I could easily say oh well it needs more or it's too full and if it's too full I could drain some if it needs more I could just add some there at the top easy peasy so all we got to do is go back and we've got some new bolts the bolt in and we can use the original gasket and be good to go just barely got it in there making sure we got the seal lined up for the gasket and i just lost my bolt this I wound up. The bolts I took off are all the same size. The ones putting back in, there are actually two different sizes. And I was wondering what the deal was. But here on the thicker spots, I could see they are going to need these longer bolts because it's got more material that it's going through where. These shallower areas should take the small bolts. At least that's what makes sense to me. There's probably some instructions somewhere that I could look up to find out for sure. But two of these bigger spots are the ones that had these, which I don't know. Those are not going to work. Yeah, so these aren't going to go down into those holes unless I drill them out. So we're actually losing these clips. I mean, we can 
set them into place, but yeah, I think I will go ahead, pause this just for a second and look up those directions I just said there, there might be and see what it says about using those two bolts because I'd hate to lose that support for the brake lines. All right, so uh, nothing from ARB. Now, this is for these, like the length of this is the same as the shorter bolts. And of course, both of these go to larger bolts. These won't fit down in the recess because of the flange on that. Her hat's flared out. Where are you? How it's flared out at the bottom. That won't fit down in the recess. However, if we grind that flare off, I still got to do a little more here on this one. It fits right down in there with no problem. So, since these are the same size as the smaller bolts, so I'm going to move that up to here. And here, so I'm going to move where those are and then have to move these clips. Uh, not ideal, but it should get the job done and be able to seal everything up. I just got to go grind down that flare on both of these so that they'll work. All right, so I got those two in. Everything else is kind of snug down. I come through and torque everything. I'll do it in a, it's like you're doing lug nuts or anything else really, just go in a cross pattern. Now it's supposed to be set for 25 foot pounds. Let me pull that off of there. There we go. Now that's using this one, we can slide this, there we go, and then do the same thing here, pop this thing open, there we go, got that popped out, and we can do the same thing, move that there. Now, the one problem with putting that there is that's where the dipstick goes. It might be in the way. So, let's pop that back off of there. Oh, go ahead, pop that off of there for now. Let's go ahead and fill this. Make sure our drain plug, make sure there's no le leaking or anything. So, I'm just using some AMSOIL, Severe Gear, 100% Synthetic, 7590. Uh, so it's supposed to be good for pretty much anything we'll be doing with this Bronco. So go ahead and start putting some of this in there. Go ahead and tip that in there. Uh, these bags make it e super easy to fill. I don't know why anybody would try filling a diff with anything else other than you like pain and suffering. So the s specification on the stock cover is 63. If you have e-locker, if you don't, then it's like 65 or 60. That's a few more ounces. And I had to ask Siri how many ounces are in a quart. But it's about 32, I think it said. She said, how many ounces are in a quart? 32. So yeah, so pretty much two of these should be perfect. Um, so I'll put another one in and then I'll check the dipstick and see where it is compared to the line that I put on there and see how close we are with that and then go from there. All right, so apparently, uh, just now editing this video, it's a couple months old. Um, 
and apparently I just stopped filming as I was filling up the as I was filling up the fluid and the video just stopped and there was nothing else recorded so uh, anyway I had gotten three bags of it, three quarts of this Amsoil Severe Gear stuff. I still have the one quart because the two quarts filled it up. And they like said it's been a couple of months, been riding with it, checked the fluid a couple of times, everything looks good. Um, and so far the, the paint's been holding up pretty good. It's just a little pop of extra color from the rear. That I'm happy with. Definitely nice thick cover that I I don't you have to try really hard to da damage that thing. Uh, it adds the extra ability to drain and fill without having to take it off and yeah I'm happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.